Okay, today we're going to go over uh, sharpening garden snips and pruners. I'm using the Ease Lap Stones, coarse and medium. So the trick is on your, uh, in this case, the snips, is there is an angle that this is needs to be kept to. So the trick is to learn to stay and keep that angle. You can see here I did this already. This one I haven't. And this one these are um, quite rusty so it's rather easy to do uh, to follow it and then when you're done you'll turn them over and do the flat side. This side is not sharpened to an angle, but you also need to do the back side. So for snips, that's what you need to do. Now in the case of snips that are relatively new, it's not so easy to tell where you are because you're going to be filing off the edge. So what you want to do is take your Sharpie or other marker and simply mark the area so when you file it you file it away and you know where you are okay let's uh, go through this I guess you can hear me loud because of the camera so I'm gonna take my course I'm gonna find my angle and if you can see it So, Mr. B's right there. You can see that I've relatively followed the line. You want to get in here too, because that's where you're cutting the big pieces. And that's what it looks like once it's been done. Now let's do the back side and the lower. Turn it over. And it just takes off burrs. I'm on the inside here. I just go flush. Use my fine. Use my fine. And then I'm going to come back over here. If you're new, you may have to put down the Sharpie again because you can't follow it. Over time you will. And there you go. Those will cut your finger off. Let's go to this newer pair here. Then. And you can see where I've got the uh, Sharpie to kind of show me where, where I am. Am I on track? If your hand slips and comes across the blade, it hurts, so you may want to wear gloves. Get the flat side that takes the nicks off. Flat side again. Takes the nicks off. Okay, when you're sharpening, you want to put a, a edge to it. If you hit a rock and this is uneven, that's okay. Leave it. Leave the metal. You want to leave the metal. The snips will work kind of like a serrated. Some of my older ones work that way. 
Okay, here we are. Uh, same principle with the lopers. I'm starting with coarse. You can pretty much come at it at any angle. Doesn't matter. Some sources say to do a circular. Man, kind of hard to do without cutting yourself. Medium. I guess you could follow that with a fine, but I'm not that anal. Do the back. Back. Yeah, there's a nice, nice nick right here. And I'm going to leave that. Maybe the camera can see that. You can see that nick. That's fine. Don't try to file down flat. You'll never get it. Now on lopers, you also have to tighten these nuts. A lot of times they work themselves loose. How do you know it's your uh, lopers are dull? Because the branch tends to bend in half rather than cut. These will cut your finger off. Thanks.